First of all, we're delighted that you could uh, both be here today, but especially you, Kath, uh, to join us in what is your first official engagement as the uh, 2016 School Chef of the Year. Um, and it's only been 12 hours, is it, since uh, you were announced as the winner. Yeah. Um, have you had a chance to tell anyone so far? Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's just been mad. I just haven't even had a chance to take any of it in. I've already had radio interviews. My phone started buzzing at 10 past six this morning, and it's just been crazy. All right, well, well, well welcome to the world of being a winner. <laughs> <laughs> um, last night, just as the announcement was made that uh, you were the winner for this year, wh what was the feelings going through your mind when, when they met? I they said your name. I actually couldn't believe it. Yeah. If you see on the video, I actually asked Justin if he's joking, because this was my fourth national final, and I couldn't believe it, as you could tell, that my name was called out mm. as the Laser School Chef of the Year. I just couldn't believe it. I was in shock, <laughs> literally. I couldn't stop shaking. I, don't, I think I shook for about an hour. Right. So <laughs> it's just crazy. And you're doing some little sort of pointing gesture to your hand as you were coming up. Yeah, because my yeah. hands were shaking oh. that much, physically <laughs> shaking. And I was trying to like, people like, why are you hiding your hands? And I was literally like this, <laughs> coming up onto the stage. Just an amazing, amazing feeling though. Mm. Well worth entering all them times to get that name called out last night. <laughs> so worth it. That's, that's wonderful. Can, can we just take you back a little bit further to, to yesterday and just mm -hmm. sort of try and find out from you how, how the final went for you? I was so nervous. So, so I mean, Sharon will tell you I was a proper stress head yesterday. <laughs> proper. The worst, the worst I've ever been in any of the finals. And my, the cookers weren't, weren't the hottest, so you really had to watch your cookers. But everything else kind of fell into place. Mm. But obviously, like... Before anything, you practice, practice, practice. I mean, you're laid in bed the morning of the final and everything's ticking through your head of what you've got to do that day. But then, obviously, you're working in a strange environment, so you've mm. got to know what you're doing. So, But it all came out. Obviously, came out well because I won. Yeah. <laughs> but before the announcement last night, wh when you looked at what you'd done, was there anything you thought you might have changed if you'd had maybe a bit more time? I think the beef needed just a little bit longer. Yeah. But the cooker was only, I mean, it was on 250 and it wasn't even registering at 200 degrees. Mm. So, obviously, you just need, you d if, if you're in it, you just need to keep on watching your stuffs, watching mm. your cookers, be aware of what's happening. Mm. So, but that was really the only thing. Re everything else went to plan. <laughs> I, I was interested to see that uh, you had a, a bit of a, a Dracula theme. Yeah. C can you just tell us briefly what, what's the, the idea behind that? My whole theme was based because my, my school did a whole school project on our location. And obviously the most prominent feature apart from the beach in Whitby is Whitby Abbey. No, wi no matter which way you come into Whitby, the Abbey is the first thing you see. And obviously all my children in school were learning about mm. the Abbey. So we looked at what the monks ate, farm, foraged, how they cooked, everything. We found local ingredients. We found a, a local cattle of breed that was actually like bred like how the monks would have done it. Right. And then obviously w Bram Stoker was influenced by the Abbey for the Draculas. That's where the Dracula theme mm -hmm. came from. And I know when people laugh when it's Dracula's baked Baptastic. <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake but actually one of my children who <laughs> did my, my training give my feedback on my paper rounds they actually named it because I worked with the children for the for the marketing so that and was their name yeah and part of my marketing as well was on the food plan is cooking with children because yeah. I think it's such an important thing that they need to do and so I, my dishes were that children were able to cook and they thoroughly enjoyed cooking it and they thoroughly enjoyed eating it okay What, what do you think winning the title will mean to you? It just means so much. So much. I mean, obviously, like I've said, this is my fourth year. And to sit there for two years and not get anything and then come last night and actually win, mm. it just means so much. And I'm looking forward to every opportunity that I have gaining this title. Mm. And I'm going to embrace 
every opportunity that I have and I just can't wait to have this year as Leicester School Chef. Terrific, yeah. Um, and that you say that you've, uh, you know, the, f the phone's gone crazy, emails yeah. and everything else. Have you actually had uh, any contact with the school? Um, I spoke to my head this morning, but last night, about five minutes after the announcement, I had to go for an interview with ITV. And so <laughs> I kind of like lobbed my phone at Sharon and I was like, will you text my head? So <laughs> she was just checking my phone at Sharon, mm. just telling her to text people because I didn't have time. And so I have spoke to my head this morning. Yeah. They're all absolutely delighted, but they wrote it all over Facebook and all over Twitter. Mm. And obviously we're all on the one show as well on Wednesday night. So that was all over Facebook and all over Twitter. So I'm dreading going to Sainsbury's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I mean, I wonder also what uh, something like this means for your employer. So, so maybe Sharon, um, you, you can help us with this one. Um, your assistant area catering manager with Nor North Yorkshire County Caterers, is that right? Um, and your chefs regularly take part in the uh, the Lisa School Chef of the Year competition. They've obviously gained a lot from that, and you yourself are a past winner. So, I wonder, as a school meals provider, what value do you see in participating in an event like this? I just think it shows the whole of the UK what brilliant chefs we have in the mm -hmm. schools, um, like Kath. I think I was more excited than she was last night because you could hear me screaming from the back of the room. Um, and like I say, it, it just gives them the opportunity to show what they can actually do mm -hmm. with school meals and um, the price um, that they had to do it mm -hmm. with, um, all the regional foods, local foods that she mm -hmm. used as well. So, and it puts North Yorkshire back on the map as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what would you say to uh, people who might be thinking about entering next year? I mean, it I've been try I've been bringing people here yeah. um, since I won in two thousand and four, and then moved into my position, um, and I've been coming back year after year after year, and been trying to encourage our cooks in our area um, to take part. And I'll still keep doing that now, even though Kath's one as well. Mm. And that this helps the business, the, the team you've got, is that some Yes, of the it does, and it gives Kath the chance to go that little bit further as mm. well. It helped me in the position that I've got now. Well, I, I hope to think that's what helped me to get <laughs> this position as well. Um, so, yes, it's just making sure that our cooks are aware of um, this brilliant competition and that I'll still keep doing it and bringing Kath along as well. Mm. Um, so I have the good part. I get to taste the food time after time after time at every <laughs> practice. That's why I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, yeah, Kath, back to you. Um, we've heard from previous winners about the fantastic you know, industry events, exhibition shows that they've attended and the invaluable experience that they've gained um, from this competition. Um, th th the experience they get with working with um, Maggie from Nestle Professional and other catering operators in, in the wider world. So wh what are you most looking forward to over the next 12 months? Every single bit of it. Every single Everything. second. I'm just going to embrace everything and I'm just so excited and I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to be an ambassador for School Foods. Mm. Well, it, it seems like you've pretty much already started, so <laughs> we, we wish you a fantastic year as the Lacer School Chef of the Year 2016. I'm sure everyone here can agree with me that you look set to make a great ambassador for the school food industry. Thank you very much, Kath and Thank Sharon. Thank you. Thank you.